Hey guys, welcome back to my second channel. Today I have something really exciting for you guys and really different for me personally. I've never done anything like this and I'm honestly a little bit scared, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna nut up or shut up. I am gonna show you some of the clothes that I just got recently. My lovely mom took me on a little like late birthday shopping trip. So I got some cute clothes, just some nice basics and then some nice like fun, colorful stuff as well because I'm usually either wearing like very basic boring colors like this black gray white something like that or I'm wearing like really really bright obnoxious colors so I'm either like blending in or I'm like a giant popsicle so <laughs> I kind of have best of both worlds to show you guys today so yeah I just want to show you the clothes that I got and we'll do a little try on haul for you today so you can see how stuff looks on um I am usually a size small in most things um, or like a size six to eight something like that didn't used to be it definitely used to be a lot bigger I used to be a size um, large extra large and wear like a size 20 22 in like old navy jeans which if you know old navy jeans they run a little bit big thank you old navy <laughs> But yeah, so I used to be significantly larger. So you may be seeing some glimpses of like some stretch marks and stuff like that when I do my try on haul. Um, I don't have a child that I've been hiding from you guys. I just used to be a lot heavier and I have very poor skin elasticity apparently. So yeah, there definitely are stretch marks on like my arms and my stomach and stuff like that. But you know what? as is life. So I don't want anyone to feel bad if you have stretch marks or anything like that and you want to wear, you know, a crop top or something like that that you think is really cute and fun, wear it. Who cares? As long as you feel good, that's all that matters. And all the clothes that I got made me feel really good. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. I'm also nervous, like I said, but I'm more excited than nervous, I think. So let's just get on into it here. We went to a few different stores, Lululemon, Nordstrom, Lush, not clothes, obviously, but we had to stop in there. Um, and then where else? Hollister, randomly enough, had to pop into Hollister and I actually had some cute stuff. So I did get some stuff from there. So I'll probably show you that first because it's a little bit less exciting, but still cute. Um, some good basics. I really wanted to stop at Abercrombie, but the Alderwood Mall, which is like the big mall in my area here in like Mill Creek Bothell area in Washington, closed their Abercrombie. <laughs> which is so sad. So I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to find a store to like try stuff on in store. But yeah, let's just get on started here. Let me show you, well, I guess I'll show you this first top. I'm actually wearing one of the new tops that I bought. So this is the um, Gilly Hicks brand from Hollister. And I'm actually really surprised at how nice this is. It's really, really soft. As you can see, it has this like nice square neckline and I just feel like it's really, really flattering. And I don't know, I just love it. It has a really nice sleeve. I have like kind of bigger, like kind of bigger arms, you know what I mean? And the sleeves still leave like a little bit of space right here and they're not crazy, crazy tight. So that's always something I'm kind of wary of when I'm trying on shirts or tops or anything like that with a sleeve is like, am I gonna be losing my arm circulation? But it feels really, really good. This is um, a cropped top, but I have like, hopefully you can kind of see here, I have like high-waisted leggings on right now. And if I pull it down all the way, it just meets my leggings. So it's really, really comfortable. You don't have to show any skin if you don't want to in your midsection, but it just is so soft. I'm not gonna say it's like buttery soft, but it definitely is really, really smooth. And all of the stitching is actually quite nice on it. And the back is just a really plain back. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can kind of see here. Really plain back, but still really cute and flattering. So. This is our first top. I usually am going to be holding the tops up for you, but since I'm wearing this one, we'll make it easy. And yeah, this is the Gilly Hicks brand from Hollister. It is a size small. It was $17.95 and Hollister was having a sale. So pretty much everything was like buy one, get one 50% off. So not too shabby. I haven't been into a Hollister since like probably high school. And in high school, like I said, I was a bigger girl and I couldn't fit into any of the clothes there. I couldn't fit into any of the clothes at Abercrombie. Thank goodness, Abercrombie at least. I'm not so sure about Hollister, but Abercrombie seems to have really switched around their business model and their approach to clothes. They're not just like 
size large, which is really like a size medium, let's be honest, to a size extra, extra small. They've really expanded their size range to be much more inclusive, which we love. We love to see it. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. But Hollister, like I said, is still, still seems to be a bit on the smaller size, size, smaller side size wise. There we go. But, um, but yeah, it wasn't quite as dark as I remember it being. It was still pretty dark in there, but back when I was in high school, like, God, over 10 years ago, it was always really, really dark in there and really smelly. It's like the, the workers in there had to like go around and like spray all the clothes with their perfumes and stuff. And it was really overwhelming. Um, but it wasn't nearly as bad this time. And I will say, I don't want to be mean, but I did feel like I was transported back to high school a little bit with some of the girls working and shopping there. There were a lot of up and down kind of mean looks. <laughs> Am I 30 or am I 16? What's happening? But um, but yeah, once you get past that and realize like, okay, these girls can't make me feel bad. You know what I mean? I've lived too much life at this point for them to make me feel bad. Granted, I know that saying that I am only 30, so I haven't made, lived that much life, but enough to know that it's insecurity on most of their parts, which is also why I was feeling insecure. <laughs> But yeah, anywho, let me kind of get back into the clothes here. This is our first top. Like I said, it's the Gilly Hicks brand. So, so soft. Now, I also got some stuff from Lululemon. So I'll kind of compare the tops so that you can see kind of uh, quality wise what we're looking at. So, but since we're here, I did get essentially, <laughs> not essentially, it is the same top from Gilly Hicks here in this really nice green color. Um, so you can see they have their logo just kind of printed on the back so there's no annoying tag, which is really, really nice. I feel like I have a coffee mustache. Um, but yeah, it's just a printed on tag. I assume that after a few washes, this will be peeling off. It kind of, it feels like you could honestly peel it off right now if you really wanted to. But yeah, really, really soft. The seams all look, honestly, the seams all look really nice on here. And you can kind of see that material there, just how soft that looks. My nails are horrendous right now. I don't have stuff under them. They're just stained from like dirt. <laughs> so don't mind that. But yeah, the shirt is actually, it seems like it's pretty well made. Here's the stitching along the front. Let me change into this really quick. So here is the green looking pretty cute. I do wish I had like a little bit of a better bra to wear with this. Also, it's a little bit cold in here. So don't, don't mind that. But yeah, this is the green. Like I said, it's the exact same as that like kind of gray, maybe taupey colored one. Um, but yeah, I just love where this hits. So like if you want, there's like a little teeny tiny peak of skin, but if you really don't want there to be any skin showing, you really don't need to. So it just looks really nice, fits really well, it's really soft and yeah. This is the green. I won't go on about it too long because we literally just did. So what I did wanna tell you though, is I just noticed, where did it go? Where did they go? There are a ton of tags. So like I said, they have the printed tag on the back, but they also have this giant like <laughs> book of tags right here. So there is like a little, you know, a little area so you can cut that right there. But I'm a little bit nervous about cutting this off because I don't want that to like fray all of the, um, the stitching right there. So we'll see about doing that maybe a little bit later once I get brave. But yeah, this is the second shirt same as the other one. So let's move on. I did get a couple other tops from Hollister. So we'll do those ones next. All right, listen, I got the same shirt also in white. They were having a sale and I need some basic. Here is the white. Like I said, just the same as the other ones, but white. It's always good to have just some nice basic tops. And that is what this is for me. Cause like I said, I'm either wearing all black, super boring colors, or I'm really, really bright and obnoxious with my colors. So this kind of shirt and the ones before kind of give me that allowance to wear more bright, crazy colors on top, but kind of calms it down <laughs> with this stuff here. So yeah. I really like it. Again, I just can't get over the fact that the arms fit me. Usually, if it's like a shirt like this, if it doesn't have a lot of stretch like this one does, 
I'll need a size small to fit me everywhere else, but I'll need like a medium or a large to fit me in the arms. Whereas this is just like nice and comfortable. I don't feel like I'm gonna hulk out of it or anything like that. It's just, it just feels good. So yeah, I'm really surprised, really enjoying it, especially for $17.95. Is that how much it was? Like I said, they were having a discount where it was buy one, get one half off. So a BOGO. We love a BOGO. All right. Now let me show you the other shirts that I got from the Gilly Hicks line at Hollister. They are different from this. I promise. <laughs> I didn't think I had another one of these, but they are a couple of different tank tops, I believe. So let me grab those for you and we can go over them. But yeah, love that square neckline. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Quick side note about why another reason I love these square necklines aside from how just kind of nice and open it makes everything look up top is that when you are changing your clothes you're not going to get your makeup all over your shirt. <laughs> we love that. All right so let me show you the next top here. Oh it's going to be kind of weird to show you because the the uh, what am I looking for? What words am I looking for? The straps are crisscrossy on the back. So you'll be able to see it nicer when I have it on, but it's just this little guy. It's, it could be worn just as a tank top or like a long line, a sports bra kind of a deal. But I would say it's more of like a cropped tank top. Super, super cute. Just a nice scoop neckline with a slight V at the front. Again, you'll be able to see this much better once I have it on here. And the straps are really nice too. So it starts from the front just looking like a nice, a little bit thicker strap. And then at the shoulder, it breaks apart into these two smaller straps and then they crisscross in the back. So it's super, super cute. And then also in the back, you have this cute little detail where it's got a couple little straps connecting and it goes into a little U in the back. And then the Gilly Hicks logo is actually pretty cute. I thought it was kind of silly at first, but it's pretty cute there's their logo. And so this is kind of just that like sporty material. It is, I don't know. It's not like Lululemon, you know, sporty material. It's not that kind of super swishy material, but it is, you know, definitely a more athletic material, I would say more performance material. So we'll see how this wears in the long run. Oh, it also has this nice detailing on the side with these um, stitches. Just kind of a nice detail that I don't know. We'll see it on. We'll see if you can actually tell it on, but I think it's really cute. Oh, and it has a built-in bra, you guys. So once you've, can you tell this is my first time doing this? Cause I feel so awkward. Once you have your top on, you don't have to wear a bra under it. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did I say it like that? So if you're wearing this top, you don't have to wear a bra with it because it does have a built-in bra right here with some cut pads. And there is a stitch in between the cut pads so that they're not going to be like going all which way. So that is pretty nice. They'll stay put. And can you take the cut pads out? You can. Okay. So you can take the cut pads out kind of like off to the side of the armpit here. So if you want to take them out when you're washing or whatever, if you just don't want them, you could take them out of here. Now I did get this in a size medium. I felt like I was actually kind of surprised because You'll see, I got a top kind of similar-ish to this from Lululemon as well. And the sizing seems really weird. So for these, I tried to size small, just like with the tops. Cause again, it's the same brand. It's that Gilly Hicks brand from Hollister. And the small was so small. Like, oh my gosh. As you can see, I don't have that much like boob to work with here, but it squished me down so crazy much in the size small. I was shocked. Like it was hard to get on and to get off. Like I thought they were going to have to cut me out of there. But, and then it's like, you know, you break your back. So I was a little bit nervous. So I tried on the medium and the medium fits so much better. So kind of take that with a grain of salt, I guess, if you are like in between sizes or something, if you are on the larger size in between sizes, size up in these because... Oh man, especially if you're ordering online, just size up. I would say just size up because normally I'm a small in pretty much everything nowadays. I could not do a small in this. Absolutely not. So let's put this on and you can see what it looks like. <laughs> All right. So here's this top. So it is definitely more cropped than the previous shirts that we were wearing. You don't really have an option unless your pants or your leggings are like super, super high rise because these are already pretty high rise as it is. And it doesn't show any skin in the back. It goes a little bit lower, but in the front it is a little bit higher up, it looks like, which I actually, I didn't notice that in the store. 
So, I mean, I don't hate it, that's for sure. But it does just show a little peak of skin here in the front, but it's just really cute. It makes it almost look like it's a um, halter neck, the way that the straps go up, but they just crisscross in the back there. And it is, I just think it looks so stinking cute. I can't really feel if I have them like perfectly adjusted. They feel like they are, but it's just it's such a stinking cute back design. I mean, what the heck? So yeah, you have the two little lines here. This is just kind of, I don't think it's, it's just for looks, but I think it looks really stinking cute. And then here you can see they've got that um, really nice, what's it called, stitching that kind of goes along the side and kind of opens up a little V right here. And I just think that looks really, really nice. Just a small little detail, but I just think it's so nice. And it holds me in beautifully. Like I said, I'm not flashing you, I swear. There are cut pads in here and we've got that stitching right in the center. So things aren't moving anywhere. The cups aren't going anywhere. And it just feels like really secure. Like I said, I don't have a ton of chest to work with or worry about for, you know, a sports bra or anything like that as far as support goes. But I would say this is like a solid medium high compression as far as the top goes, super supportive. And yeah, I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. I'm not gonna like go anywhere if I'm wiggling or anything like that. If I'm like lifting weights, nothing is going anywhere. It feels really nice and secure, but also don't feel like too showy, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just think this is a really nice top, cute and sporty, but it could also be dressed up ever so slightly if you really wanted to with like, I don't know, some cute jeans or something. I don't really dress up <laughs> as you'll see in the other clothes I got, but, um, but yeah, if you really wanted to, you could probably dress this up with something a little bit cuter. But yeah, I really dig it. And as you can see with the straps, it doesn't split into the double strap until it gets all the way to the back, like at the, almost at the nape of your neck, I guess. And then it splits to that double. Don't judge this silly little tattoo, okay? <laughs> it was a born tattoo, so, you know, my friends were getting tattoos and I was like, well, if I'm here, <laughs> I better get something. And that's what I landed on, but, um, but yeah, anywho, cute, cute shirt. I really enjoy it. Let me tell you the price it was. <laughs> This one was $34.95, which is significantly more expensive. It's like twice the price as that other top that I got, which I guess does make sense. There's a lot more detail going on with this top. Like I said, it has the built-in sports bra with the stitching in the center, so the cups aren't gonna be going every which way. That alone, I feel like, is a pretty nice detail to have for a top like this because I could honestly see them selling a top like this without that built-in bra and just being like, there you go. So I think that's actually really nice. I do think this is pretty worth the money. Like I said, I just got it. Well, actually, I didn't just get these. Full disclosure, you guys. I bought all these clothes like a week ago. Yeah, this was last weekend. And I've only worn like two things because I've just been trying to save it for you guys from when I had time to film this. So yeah, just popping the tags off of these. But at first glance, at first try on, I definitely feel like this is worth the money because it just feels so good. Now, I'll keep you guys posted after I wear it for a while and do some washing with it and stuff, do some exercises with it and kind of see how everything wears. So let me know if you want me to do another video um, kind of updating you on the quality of these clothes after a few months or something like that, because I could definitely do that and I'll let you know if this would actually be worth your money. <laughs> so yeah, because I personally have a really hard time buying anything, clothes especially, because usually if it's something that's good quality, it's usually a higher price. Um, not always, you know, it's not always a direct correlation between quality and price, but usually that is kind of what it is. And I just have a really hard time and I'll usually end up buying for myself really cheap clothes that only end up lasting me looking decent for like a couple months. And then I'm like, okay, well I just wasted my dollars. <laughs> and I would rather, now that I'm like kind of figuring it out, I think I'd rather spend a little bit more money on a clothing item knowing or hoping that it will last me significantly longer. Like these are Lululemon leggings I have on. I've had these for like four years almost. I've had them for a really long time and they look pretty much the same as when I got them. So with that kind of stuff, I feel like it's really worth it. Um, so yeah, like I said, let me know if you want to see an update on this in a few months to see how it wears, if we're getting like a lot of pilling or anything like that. I do have some like poke out right here. It's not like side boob, but it's just 
the armpit skin. I don't know. I feel like that might bother some people, but I don't really care. It's just what your skin does. And like, you know, if you're a woman, you probably have <laughs> some extra fat right here because that's just where it goes. So who cares? But yeah, I think it's really cute. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of wish I would have got this in another color, but I don't know if I had any other colors. I probably would have got it if they did. But yeah, really cute. This was also part of the buy one, get one half off too. So we love a sale. All right, let me grab the next one here. Okay, at first glance, this looks really, really similar. <laughs> Don't judge me, I like what I like, okay? So this is another one also from Gilly Hicks. I'm sticking with the same you know, store at a time so we don't get too confused here. This one also crisscrosses in the back, but it's much more simple. It's just a little X right here. And this one is super cute. So this one has a little bit more detailing in the front as far as the stitching goes. So you've got that center stitch here and then a couple along the side. So it almost is giving that kind of um, like corset -y vibe there with the stitching. And then it has like a little stitching that goes under the boob. It goes up just ever so slightly, which I think is really cute. And then this stitching continues down along the sides here. So I just think it's really, really pretty, nicely made also. And again, it has a built-in bra. So I love that. We don't have to wear extra layers, especially if you're like actually wearing this to go to the gym. I don't wanna be wearing a ton of layers and having to like, feel like I'm all constricted and stuff if I'm lifting weights. I want to feel like I'm supported and held in, but also like I can move around and do whatever I need to do. So this feels really, really nice. Just um, first glance and touching it. And then the straps are really nice and thick and they're so soft. I did think that this was a little bit weird when I first tried this on in store. I was like, mm, what's, what's up with this? So here's the strap. Really nice looking, right? And then if you turn it around, it doesn't have a seam right here, but the way they finished it was they just kind of like folded the fabric over and then I'm assuming used some like heat glue or something like that because that's not going anywhere, but it's just kind of like pressed onto there. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I thought that was a little bit weird. You don't feel it at all when you're wearing it. I just thought like, mm, I've not really seen that for a finishing hem, but it looks nice, I think. It's not terrible. But like I said, we'll see if it ends up you know, fraying or coming apart or anything like that. So yeah, let's try this one on. Oh, and leave the price first, actually. Did I tear the price tag off of this? Oh no. It was originally supposed to be $21.99, but it was part of the buy one, get one. So, you know, really good prices on there. So let me try this one on for you really quick and you'll see, we'll see if we can tell a difference, okay? <laughs> I feel like these clothes are kind of boring so far, but it gets more exciting. Trust me. Trust me. There will be color. Okay. All righty. So here is this next top. It's definitely the shortest of the tops so far. It cuts a little bit higher um, than, like I said, than any of the other ones, but I still think it is so cute. So like I said, we've got this really nice stitching down the center. It comes across here. It goes up just ever so slightly, which I think is really, really nice looking. And then we have these striping down the sides that falls all the way down. So that's what kind of gives it that almost kind of corsetty looking feel here. I just think that is so nice. And here's the back. It just does a single crisscross in the back. Super, super comfortable, full range of motion. There's nothing pinching, nothing feels weird. And yeah, it's just really nice. And like I said, with leggings and stuff like that, it usually goes up a little bit more in the back. So in the back, you're not really showing as much skin, but when you turn around, there is definitely a little show of tummy in the front. So if that's not your jam, this shirt just might not be for you. But, um, but yeah, I just think it's really cute and comfy. I really like the straps. They feel very secure. Like that stitching is serious. It's just so nice. I really like it. There's the back again, a little bit closer. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. Really, really cute. And again, it does have the built-in bra there and it has the stitching along the center. And it's just like a little elastic band. It feels just like regular elastic on the front, but the part that's touching your skin is really, really soft. Hopefully I can show you this. 
But do you see that? It's like a much softer material right there. So the part that's actually touching your skin feels just like the shirt material almost. It's really, really nice. So they've really thought of some details here with this that I really appreciate. Let me actually check the other shirt too because I didn't notice that. This one has that too. So here you can see, this is the outside elastic. This part does not touch your skin. And then this is the part that does touch your skin. So it's much softer. So they've really thought about that. I quite appreciate that. That's really nice. So yeah, that alone, I would say, kind of makes it worth it in my opinion. But like I said, this one was cheaper. It was, what did I say it was? $21.99. Yeah, $21.99 originally. Like I said, they were having a sale. So if you're into this kind of stuff or like a, just a nice active top, I mean, I'd say it's worth it. It's definitely cheaper than any Lululemon tops, that's for sure. And I feel like for this one, maybe I'm wrong, I feel like I'm getting a little bit less of the like poof out right here on the sides. Like I said, I honestly never noticed that with shirts. I just thought I would mention it for you guys if that's like an area of insecurity for anyone, which if it is, I'm sorry. But I also feel like, girl, don't want it be an insecurity. It's fine. We all have our things. We all have our skin. Sometimes if I move my arms a certain way, you can really see my stretch marks on my arms. But you know what? It's okay. We're human. We all have our things. So my things are stretch marks. What are yours? <laughs> but yeah, I really dig this top. I think it's really cute, really flattering. There's not much to it, but you know, cute, comfortable, can do activities if you want to. But yeah, all right, let's move on to some more exciting clothes. What do I want to show you first? Hmm. Okay, I say exciting clothes, but I'm not that exciting. So they're exciting for me. Let me see. Okay. I think we're ready to move on to some Lululemon stuff and then we'll do, I only got one item from Nordstrom. So actually maybe we'll do that first because I only got the one item. So let's do that first. So <laughs> from Nordstrom, I got a really, really cute kind of like windbreaker rain pullover jacket kind of a thing. It's by L.L. Bean. It's so cute, you guys. Let me zip it up so you can see it a little bit better. And obviously I'll try it on for you, but Look at her. Could that be any cuter? Look at the colors. Look at this little stripe across the front. Oh, it's so cute. So, and it's got this lovely big zipper pocket here, but then it also has little poochy pocket that goes like all the way through. So you have a little kangaroo pocket as well as your zip up pouch pocket. I love this. Okay, and this is a size extra small. This, oh, I didn't even mention, this is also a medium. All of the like sports bra kind of tops from the Gilly Hicks line were in really, really small. So this is also a medium, just like that other one. But this one seemed to run pretty large. This is actually an extra small. And look how big it looks, right? Like, that's pretty darn big. It's so cute. Okay, let me jump into this one. Okay, so it's really swishy sounding, so I'll try not to like swish as much as possible, but isn't it so cute? And it's really nice too, because it is still pretty roomy in here, so I can wear, I just have that tank top on under this, but I could wear a full jacket, sweatshirt under here, and it still has room and everything like that, and it's just so comfortable. So let me get in close so you can kind of see. We have the really, really cute LL Bean right here. I love these little tags. This looks like leather, but it's not real leather. So that's good for me. And then the little tie is even so cute. It's like all the details are so pretty. And then, oh my gosh. Okay. And then it's really nice because I'm gonna have to take my mic off so that you can see, but I love that it zips all the way up so that you have like some neck coverage. And then, whoo, where's my hood? Oh, you got to get the hood on first. <laughs> so the hood is humongous. Are we seeing this, you guys? The hood is huge and get my hair in here. Look at this. I'm fully enclosed. Like rain shan't be penetrating my face in this. Like no way, no how. So... I feel so silly, but this is so, so nice. If you live in a, 
If you live in a rainy area or anything like that, having a jacket like this that is water resistant, has a zip that goes up past your chinny chin chin, and then has a hood that is big enough that it's not like stopping like right here or some silly thing. It goes all the way forward so you are completely covered and safe. Like if I'm wearing my glasses out in the rain, my glasses probably won't get wet unless it's like windy, right? You know what I'm saying? But you're just so much more protected. It's just, it's really, really nice. But yeah, it's so comfortable. And then if I back up a little bit, hopefully you can see it does have some toggles on either side here at the end. So I can toggle it if I really want to and make it more snug. So it can just kind of like sit right there a little bit better or I can have it fully Maybe I can fully loosen, yeah. Have it fully loosened and have it like just lay all the way down like that if I wanted the top of my butt to be covered a little bit more or something. So yeah, I just, I love this. I think the color is so stinking cute. I love that it has this zipper pocket right here so that if I'm like out walking the dogs or something, I don't have to have my phone in this loose pocket where if I bend over, it could fall out. It's like zipped and secure and it's huge. The pocket is huge, you guys. Like, it's like my entire belly right here. <laughs> so nice and the color combo I mean I mean come on it's so cute so yeah L.L. Bean this one was I think this was like $60 as well which if you ask me that's like a pretty killer price for something like this because we were looking at some other just like plain like athletic-y jackets and they were significantly more expensive and not nearly as like cute and nice as this. Okay, it was, yeah, I thought it said 65, but it was $59. What? <laughs> I thought this would be like 120. That is so cute. Now, if it was 120, I would not have got it, but it's just so cute. And yeah, L.L. Bean, and it is the um, Anorak Mountain Classic Anorak jacket. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Anorak? An Anorak? Whatever. But yeah, lightweight protection, classic design, blah, 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 wind and water resistant fabrics. That's what I was looking for. Adjustable hood and hem helps seal out the elements. Yes, thank you. That is what we want. So yeah, let's move on to some Lululemon stuff. This is the most exciting for me at least because I never splurge on stuff like that. And yeah, thanks mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love a, a belated birthday gift. So yeah, let me show you. I got two jackets, a pair of jogger kind of pants, and two tops, three tops. So <laughs> let's do the tops first, shall we? Listen, I'm a fan of basics. <laughs> so I did get two of the same top once again, but they're so cute. So I don't even feel bad. So here's the first one. Really, really cute. It is ever so slightly cropped, but it's, again, you'll see it on, you don't have to show skin if you don't want to. It's really, really nice. And then it has this cute ruching on the side. At first glance, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but on, it's the cutest detail. And it just, it just kind of elevates the t-shirt in a way that you wouldn't really expect. Um, it's so, so nice. The stitching, obviously, is fantastic. It does have like a interesting little stitch along the back of the neck here. So you can see where that kind of comes together. I'm not really sure why it comes together in that way, but it's not on the front or anything, so it's not like it looks bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad on the back of the shirt either, but yeah, super, super cute. It has that same ruching detail along the other side. It does go all the way up to the armpit here, which again, I thought it was gonna be kind of like uncomfortable or sit weird or just be like too much ruching, but no, 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 no. Lululemon knows what they're doing. Um, so yeah, let me just put this on so you can really see it. This is a size six, which I think is the size I got in pretty much everything from Lululemon. So let's try and jump into this, shall we? All right, so here is this shirt. It's so soft. Oh my God, it's so soft. This, is it softer? I'm trying to feel these in comparison to one. This is the Gilly Hicks um, t-shirt that I got. It feels so close to the same material 
it might be the same material. I'm sure it's slightly different, but it feels <laughs> so similar. It's kind of crazy. But this top, so my mom grabbed me these tops and like I said, I wouldn't have picked them out if it was just me shopping. I would have just been like, that's just a plain t-shirt. I don't need a Lululemon plain t-shirt. That seems silly and expensive. <laughs> I wish I was wrong. I wish I was right, actually. I wish I was right, but I was wrong because, oh my God, this is so soft. Let me take my mic off so that you can just see how nice this neckline is. It's so well done. The stitching is just perfect. Like there's double stitching right here. It just adds like a lovely little detail if you're really paying attention. And oh my God, is it comfortable. Let me show you the back. I do need to cut those tags out still, but it just has that little tiny emblem right there. Super cute and soft. Let me fix my bra strap here, but so soft. There's the ruching along the side. Hopefully you can kind of see that there, that ruching. It doesn't feel weird whatsoever. Like I can't even feel it. And oh my God, it's just so cute, you guys. It's so comfortable. Once again, the perfect length, especially for us legging wearers or just any sort of high-waisted pant that you're wearing. It's going to hit just so perfect. I haven't taken the tag off. I will not be returning it. This is mine. It was $58. I don't want to recommend <laughs> that everyone go out and buy a $60 t-shirt essentially. But if you are the kind of person like myself where you wear your clothes, you have your set clothes and you wear those clothes until they are dead, this might be worth having. Something like this might be worth having in your wardrobe because you're going to wear it and wear it and wear it and wear it and wash it and wash it and wash it and it's going to be fine. I promise, because that's what I've done with my Lululemon leggings. Whoop, <laughs> whoop. Yeah, that's what I've done with my leggings. I don't do anything special to them. I put them in the wash. I put them in the dryer. I've done it for years <laughs> and nothing funny has ever happened to them. So I'm really confident in saying that this shirt is gonna act in the same way. But like, look at how cute. The ruching creates just like some ever so slight ruching along the front as well and ever so slight ruching along the back too. Like, what? How is that so cute? It's just so simple, but so cute and so comfortable. Once again, the sleeves are perfect. They're not pulling super hard. It might look like it is actually a little bit, but it's not, I promise. Not pulling on me whatsoever. I feel like there's like actually room in the sleeve. What? <laughs> so comfortable. I just, I can't get over it. So yeah. Here's the top. What's it called? I guess I'll tell you what it's called. This is the All It Takes tee in their Nulu fabric, which I'm assuming is new. I don't know. So there's the tag there if you're wondering. I like to be comfortable in my clothes. If they're not comfy, I'm not gonna wear it. So this is just pretty perfect. Now, like I said, I did get the same shirt in another color. So let me hop into that really quick. Here is the white. Could this be any whiter? <laughs> This one took some convincing on my mom's part for me to get because I was like, listen, this is a $60 t-shirt and it's white. It is white, <laughs> like so white. And I was just like, listen, I'm gonna get like a pit stain in it. I'm gonna get makeup stains on it. That's what bleach is for, okay? That's what stain sex are for. This is literally my second time putting this on. The first time was just in the dressing room. <laughs> so we'll see how it does. I will say it does not have that open square neckline like the Gilly Hicks tops did. So you do need to be very careful when you're putting on your makeup, or excuse me, when you're putting on your shirt so that you don't get makeup all over it. But it is a really nice stretchy material so you can like stretch it over your face and then like you're all good. Um, I did see, whose video was this? I think it was Molly Burke. I love her. She's so funny and so sweet. Like I've met her in person. I have not, but I just, you know, it comes across in her videos. She was doing some shopping in Japan, I believe. And when she was shopping there at the clothing stores, they have these like <laughs> bag things. I think they're like fabric bags that you like put over your head when you're trying on your clothes. That way you don't get your makeup all over their nice clothes in the store. And I just thought that was so brilliant. Can we... Can we put that into effect here at our malls, please? Because that would be top notch. Because I definitely saw a few of these t-shirts there that had makeup on them from people trying it on, which I mean, I personally would not buy this $60 t-shirt if it already had someone else's makeup on it. So <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, just a note. But yeah, such a cute, such a cute shirt. Same one as the other one. So I won't go on too terribly long here. But again, the stitching is just perfect. And again, it has that ruching detail along the side. It's just perfect. The cut is perfect. Again, it hits just right. If I was wearing my jeans too, which um, let's be real, I have one pair of jeans and I never wear them because I've gained a little bit of weight since moving to Washington and they don't fit me right now. But if I were to wear my jeans, they, my jeans hit about the same spot here and it would just be perfect. You wouldn't have to show any skin if you don't want to. Although if you are like raising your arms up and stuff, I guess you show a little bit, but still not that much, not that much at all. So this is going to be probably not a workout shirt for me because like I said, I'm a sweater, especially if I take my pre-workout, I'm gonna be sweating and I am terrified of getting pit stains in this. Like I'm scared right now because I'm, I'm a little bit sweaty right now. So <laughs> I'm a little scared, but yeah, I just think it's so, so cute and so nice. And this is definitely one that you could dress up a little bit with some really nice slacks or some nice dressy shorts or a nice skirt or something. Like I said, I don't know, I don't dress up, but if I did, I could totally dress this up and make it look really, really nice. So yeah, let me just show you the back of it really quick in case you are wondering, even though it is just the same as all the other backs, but yeah. Super cute, super comfy. Hate to love it, but I do, man. You guys, this has been so much fun. I'm not done yet, so don't get too excited. But this has just been so fun for me. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy myself so much doing this, but this is really fun. I like showing you guys what I got and doing a little try on for you because if I'm being honest, every time I go out and buy new clothes, which like I said, is not often, but if I do, then when I get home, I have to like fashion show it for anyone who's willing to look. <laughs> So this is really fun. I don't have anyone who necessarily wants to look at my fashion show right now, except for my mom, but she was there when I bought this. So she doesn't need a second one, but you guys can get one. <laughs> so yeah, let's move on here. This is the um, like tank top, kind of a, a workout top that I got from Lululemon. Super, super cute. This one is called the Wonder Under Racer, excuse me, the Wonder Train Racerback Tank. Here's the tag for you. This one was $68. So this was $10 more than this, but it does have the built-in bra and all the good stuff to come along with it. So it's really, really nice. I shan't be returning it, so I will be cutting this tag off of here, but um, it's so nice. Okay, let me put it on for you. First, let me show you the material actually, because it's definitely a more performance material than I would say, um, the other tops that I got from Gilly Hicks were. This one feels a little bit more kind of like, what's the word? But this one feels a little bit more kind of cottony. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas this one is definitely more of that performance material. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference here. So this is the Gilly Hicks from Hollister, this one here, and this is the Lululemon. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference there in material. This one's definitely more of that sleek performance, not super sleek, but definitely more performance material. And yeah, a little bit more kind of casual and cottony for the Gilly Hicks. So they are different. I'm not just going around getting the same thing at every store, even though it looks like it. <laughs> there are differences. Like I said, this neckline is very different than the other one. So this is me just trying to justify that I like what I like and I don't like to branch out very much but that's okay. So let me hop into this one for you. I just realized that my microphone just died for some of what I was just showing you, but here is the redefine, wait, is that what it's called? I already forgot. No, this is the Wonder Train uh, tank. So super, super cute. Um, I did, I did get some makeup on that white t-shirt when I was taking it off. So it's in the wash right now because shit. <laughs> So yeah, um, but anyway, this is the super cute racer. I just, I love this top, you guys. I just think it is so flattering and so comfortable. Like I said, it is just that classic racer back style. You really can't go wrong with the racer back. If you ask me, it's just always going to be immediately so supportive. Like this is super supportive. If I was a runner, I don't know if I'd be running, punching like this, but if I was a runner, I wouldn't be going anywhere within this. Like it's just, so comfortable, so supportive. I'm not like jiggling around anywhere. The neck is nice and high so that if I'm like bending over doing anything, there's no chance that anything is popping out anywhere. It's just perfect. And can we just appreciate 
the fact that there are no visible seams anywhere right here. Like, what? It just looks so clean and nice. And I just, oh, I love it. Let me flip this around so you can see a little bit more. There we go. So cute, so soft. And like, I can kind of feel the seams like on the underside, but even if you flip it, you still can't see any of the seams. How'd they even do that? So nice. And I love the seams that go along the side of these darts right here. And that they kind of connect back to this other seam that goes along the front. So it just kind of like cuts you really, really nicely. It's just so perfectly flattering. And again, it hits a little bit higher than some of the other tops. Like you're still showing a little strip of skin in the back and a little bit more in the front. So if that's not your jam, this won't be for you. But it's honestly not bad whatsoever skin wise. I don't feel like I'm overexposed or anything like that. I just feel like there's a little breeze or something. And like, you know, if you don't want to be like sucking it in like crazy, you don't have to. You can just kind of relax and like be comfortable, which I really appreciate. It's not like sucking you in so much. This bottom seam is actually pretty nice. Like it's flowing ever so slightly away from my stomach. Like it's not skin, skin tight down here, which I really, really like. So yeah, I won't go on about this too much longer. It's a pretty simple top, but it's just so comfortable. Now, like I said, this is $10 more than that t-shirt. So like if you were to get one or the other, like actually, I wouldn't even say that. I'm not even gonna say that. I was gonna say like which one would be more worth it, but they're just so different. They're completely different styles of tops. And like, obviously the t-shirt you could still wear to the gym, but this one is really meant for that. Like this has the built-in cut pads. I didn't even mention the built-in cut pads. So here they are. Don't worry, I'm not flashing you. Similar to the Gilly Hicks where they had, the Gilly Hicks had that single stitch down the center. This has two stitches down the center. That way it's really hopefully keeping the pads like where they belong in here, which is really, really nice. The, um, the elastic around the bottom of the bust is fairly snug, but that's how you want it. You don't want the elastic to be loose because then what's the point? Um, and is that just like normal kind of elastic, slightly rougher feel on the outside? But again, similar to kind of how Gilly Hicks has done theirs, it's a little bit of a softer material on this side. It's not quite as soft like as just the regular shirt material, but it is very, very soft on the skin. So you're not like getting any weird scratchies or anything like that. This looks so funny. But yeah, it's really, really comfortable all the way around. It's not like squeezing me anywhere too tight. I don't know if it might look like it is, but it doesn't feel like it is. This is one of the other items that I have actually worn already. Um, I've worn it to work a couple of times, which I think I'm not gonna do anymore because I work with like a lot of like vegetation. I work with a lot of plants and um, like veggies and dirt and stuff like that. Um, so wearing this to work, I did get it pretty dirty along the sleeves um, or like along the cuffs or whatever. And I feel like this just got out of the wash and it was being hung to dry. I feel like I see some pilling and I feel like I see some discoloration already, which is a total bummer. But let me show, tell you what this was called. This is the Define jacket in Luan. This one was 118. <gasps> it's pretty pricey if you ask me, but there's the tag in case you are wondering. I don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so let me just show it to you here before I put it on. This is the jacket. I love the color. I am a sucker for some like bright sherberty colors. I just think it's so nice. And especially like with my skin tone, I feel like it looks really nice too, especially once I get some more color in me, it'll be really pretty looking. Um, but yeah, just a really clean, simple jacket. This is kind of like when I think of a Lululemon athletic -y jacket. This is pretty much what I think of is this style where it has that kind of um, stitching that goes across the front, the cute stitching that comes down the, the front of the jacket as well, like down the, down the fronts. What am I trying to say? The stitching is just really nice. It's <laughs> very, um, very defined, which maybe that's why they call it the define jacket. And then this one does not have a hood. It just has that small um, collar right there, which is totally fine with me. And then the back is really, really cute. So it has the cute little emblem right here. And then it has the little ventilation section right here. If you were like a runner, which I am not. But if I decided to, you know, my back won't get too sweaty, I guess. <laughs> and then the bottom of it is really, really nice as well. I just love this stitching that goes across. And then again, the pinstripes that come down, 
it just is really, really nice, really flattering. And yeah, again, this is a size six. All the stuff is a size six from Lululemon just to keep it simple. Um, but yeah, let me put this one on. Oh, okay. And then I'll show you where I think the pilling is happening. And I think that is just due to me washing it too much because I think I've already washed this like two or three times because like I said, I've been wearing it to work and the sleeves get super dirty while I'm at work. So I won't be doing that anymore. I learned my lesson, but do you see what I mean? There's also like dog hair, so don't mind that. But there is some pilling happening already. Ugh, no. So that's kind of a bummer. It looks like along the arm here, I'm seeing some pilling as well. Do you see that? Am I crazy? But yeah, other than that, it's a beautiful jacket. I'm just gonna try and like, not get it dirty as much as possible so I can not have to wash it <laughs> as much basically. But I think it's really, really nice. I love the detail along the arm where it has the stitching that comes like right after the elbow and then it gets a little bit thicker as it comes down here and you have this nice thick cuff. And it's got the little thumb hole, which I don't usually use myself, but it's nice to have, I guess, if your hand's a little bit chilly. And then it also has this little guy, which I think that most, I'm totally cutting myself off, but I think that most Lululemon jackets have this little design where you can like go like this if you're really, really cold, I guess. And then you have just like a little mitten with like your thumb out if you want to. I don't know. I never do this. Nice to have an option, I guess. I love the two um, sets of stitches that come down to the side and let me zip it all the way up. So here is it zipped all the way up. Like I said, there's no hood on this one, which I find is totally fine because most of my other stuff does have hoods. So not a big deal for me personally. And I love that it comes up just like the perfect height. It's not too, ha too tall. It's not like touching my chin or anything when I'm talking. And it's not too tight when I have it zipped all the way up on my neck either, which is really nice because sometimes, you know, it'll be like way too snug and you feel like you're getting choked out, which I, not, not the feeling that I'm going for when I'm just walking around. Do you know what I mean? And then another little detail that they've thought of is having that little fold over fabric to protect your skin from that cold zipper when you do have it zipped all the way up. That's amazing for me because I'm such a lizard. I hate to be cold. I absolutely hate it. It like makes my back hurt, makes my feet hurt, makes me cranky. I want to be warm. If I have to be sweating a little bit, I am okay with that. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that. But yeah, I just think that is so, so nice that they've really thought about that so that you're not going to be getting chilly when you're trying to do the opposite. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, the beautiful stitching along the front. So it's got these two stitches here that connect to this beautiful little wave that goes all across like the top of the bust. So pretty, so flattering. That's just that classic Lululemon stitching. And another thing I like about this jacket is the bottom hem. Hopefully you can see here. It dips down just ever so slightly in the back. Do you see what I'm saying? And then it comes up ever so slightly on the sides, just ever so slightly, and then it dips down again, just barely in the front. So it just feels really good to have that like lower tummy not control because it's not like tight or anything like that, but just that lower tummy coverage because I don't know, it's just nice when you're like want to be out and you want to feel like you're wearing something cute, but you also are like maybe like me and you carry your weight lower in your tummy and you don't want to have that just like on show all the time. It feels good to just like have a cute little jacket that you can just pull down and bam, no one even knows. Or if they do, they're distracted because the color is so cute. And honestly, no one's really noticing if you have a lower tummy pooch like I do, because who cares? Let me know what you think about the pilling situation. What should I do about that? Is there like, can I fix it? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is the next jacket here. It is called the Define Cropped Jacket in the Nulu. So it's essentially the same jacket, just the cropped version. And I feel like the material feels different. Let me show you the materials up close. So here's the blue. It feels more, um, it feels like a more performance sleek material. Whereas this one is almost a little bit more, um, a little bit softer and a little bit more kind of not cottony feeling, but that's the only word that I can think of to describe it. But it does feel a little bit more cottony feeling. Hopefully you can see the difference there in materials, but we'll see once I get it on here. 
So yeah, let me just show you again the details. They're pretty much the same as that last jacket, you know, just cropped, but super, super cute. There's a little bit less stitching happening on this jacket too, I'm noticing. So it doesn't have the stitches that go down the front sides like that other one does. It just has the, um, the small one that goes right across here, right, right above the bust. So, so cute. It does have that same little ventilation system happening in the back, but again, fewer stitches going along the back as well. So super, super cute. The also on the front here, you'll notice that the zippers are a lot sleeker. They're almost invisible on this one. Whereas this is the pocket zipper for the full length jacket. So it is definitely that like more classic, super, um, not chunky, but just like really sturdy zipper. Really, really nice. So yeah, definitely some differences on the cropped jacket versus the not cropped jacket. The cropped just seems like it's a little bit more, a little bit more streamlined overall, I guess is what you would say. But yeah, really cute details. Oh no, there is a little bit of fraying. Do you see? A little bit of fray right here. So let's chop that. Here it is, so cute. So now you can really see the difference in the cut. I'll put that last clip of me next door so you can kind of see the difference in how it's hitting here on my um, on my hips and waist. The other one went a little bit lower kind of right here, right past like my lower tummy pooch, whereas this one is sitting like almost right at my lower tummy pooch. So you can still kind of see some pooch happening there, but like I'm, it doesn't bother me. I'm just telling you so that you know where it hits and how it hits, but um, but yeah, super, super comfortable. So we have this nice stitching that goes along the side. So with that other jacket, I don't think we had that stitching. Did we? Yeah, okay. So for the non-cropped version of this jacket, we didn't have this stitching going um, vertically all the way down. We had that stitching that came across like kind of right here, which we don't have on this one. It's much more sleek all the way down, but it does have that same cuff design here. So we have the thumb hole and we have the ability to make it into a weird little mitten if you really want to. Um, so that's really nice. And it is obviously a bit thicker here because it's that doubled up fabric. So it's really, really comfortable and sleek. I just dig it. So we have the same little um, collar situation here. Again, there is no hood for this one. And again, we have that little zipper protector here for your neck so that you're not getting super chilly when you decide you wanna zip it all the way up. And then again, the stitching is much more just like sleek on this one, which I kind of appreciate. It's not as like bold, you know, because it's already a little bit bolder just being a cropped jacket alone, you know what I mean? Kind of makes it a little bit more stand out, at least to me. So you just have that really simple single stitch that goes along the top of the bust here. And then a really simple stitch that the other one, it started up here. Whereas this one, it starts just right here and it goes down very, very lightly down. So cute. So stinking cute. So yeah, I love the way this one hits. Not too short, not too long. I feel like it's the perfect kind of like cropped length for a jacket where like when I'm wearing my high-waisted legging, it comes down over the leggings perfectly. I'm not like having to show any skin when I wear this, but if you wanted to, you, you could, you know? <laughs> so cute. And the color, you guys, this color. <laughs> If I could have found like every other item in this color, I would have. But this was the only thing that I could find in this beautiful blue. I just think it's gorgeous. And here's the back. So you can see, again, we have that kind of ventilation detailing. Really, really nice. And again, just a much sleeker design on the back than the other one as far as like more minimal stitching and all kinds of stuff like that. So yeah. Here's the stitching along the side too, a little bit thicker. So yeah, the zipper, much more sleek, not, not nearly as big of a pocket, but you could maybe, this is like the back to my phone case. So yeah, I couldn't fit like my full phone in here, but that's okay. If you really need to, I'd put it like in my leggings or something if I really wanted to, but I'd honestly probably just keep these zipped up for the most part, just so that it looks nice and streamlined, but yeah, I just think it looks really, really flattering, really cute. Again, the cut is pretty perfect if you ask me. Like it just cuts you perfect right above your butt. It's not cutting your butt in half or anything like that. Yeah, I love this, I love this. I've also worn these a lot because I've been wearing them for work a little bit. 
They are so comfy. Okay, what are these called? These are the Stretch High Rise Jogger in black. These were also $118. <laughs> but you guys, whoa. As soon as I put these on, I was like, shut the hell up. What's happening right now? How are these so comfortable? So let me just kind of show you some close-ups here. This is the waistband. Again, size six for these. The eights were humongous. Um, if you were in between sizes, I would probably suggest sizing down because they are so stretchy. Um, but yeah, here's the waistband, super comfortable. It does have a drawstring and you can tuck the little like stringy parts in. So there are some little spots right here. At least I think that's where you can tuck it in. And it's got these really nice, just sleek little pockets here on the side. So you can just boop right in. There are no pockets along the back. So it's just really clean along the back side, but you do have the pockets on either side here in the front. So you have some options here and they're actually really good size pockets. Like, okay, it doesn't look like that big of a pocket right here, but trust me, I can fit my phone and like a ton of other stuff in these pockets. Like in one pocket, I can put a phone and like a little notebook and like all kinds of stuff. So super, super comfortable. And then as they go down, they're just very, very basic. There's no weird stitching or anything like that, which I did not want. I wanted something really simple and just like sleek and easy to wear. But then the bottom has this really nice cuff to it. So it's not just flared or open at the bottom. It kind of gathers at your ankle so comfortable. I am a bit taller. I'm about 5'8", five, 5'8 eight, five, eight and a half, something like that. And these work so, so well for me because they're really, really stretchy. Like, look at this. Whoa, you can't even see all of it. Okay, so here they are on. They are so comfortable. So, I, the little tag is like tickling my butt crack, but, um, but yeah, so comfortable. Again, they do have the drawstring. I don't have them tied up right now, but they fit so nicely that I don't even really need to tie the drawstring if I don't want to, but just so comfortable. I love where they hit. My belly button is like right here. So it does hit just covering up my belly button, which I really like personally. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they're just so comfortable. I feel like they're pretty flattering on the caboose and really flattering on the front too, because again, it just kind of like covers my lower tummy pooch area and the fabric just like poofs out ever so slightly because of, you know, how like the, the gathering at the waistband is, it just poofs out ever so slightly, but in like the most flattering way, if you ask me for the front. I just think it is so cute. I feel like you can see the messies on my floor here, but yeah, they're full length. They hit just above my ankle. Like they hit so perfect on the leg and yeah, they're just so comfortable. They have like a little bit of space everywhere. There's no end to the stretch, you guys. Like I could be doing whatever. <laughs> There's no end to the stretch. It's crazy. I've never tried on joggers or any sort of pants like this where there is no end to the stretch. I've like, I watch a bunch of videos where people are trying on hauls. I watch a lot of videos like this, you know what I mean? Just to see what clothes would be worth it, what clothes would fit my body. Um, I really like Katherine Mueller. I'll link her channel in the description box down below. But I love watching her try on videos for like active wear and stuff because I can kind of see how something might fit me. And um, yeah, I've just never understood what people meant when they said there's no end to the stretch because I was like, there's always an end to the stretch. What are you talking about? But um, yeah, there's no end to it here. At least I can't find it. It's crazy. There's no tightness. There's no pinching literally anywhere. I just like squat twice and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> Don't mind that. But yeah, they're just, they're just so comfortable. Like what? They fit perfect, just perfect. Like, are you kidding me? They even make my butt look kind of cute, even though it's just a jogger. Like, ugh. oh, and I forgot. Does it have a zip pocket? I gotta swear it. It does. <laughs> it has a zipper pocket. So it has pocket on either side here, right? Super easy, super cute. But if you're like doing a bunch of stuff, your phone could potentially fall out. Although, I, like I said, they're super deep. So when I put my phone in here, like, 
totally in there. But if you wanted like a credit card or some cash or something in here, and you didn't want it to have the possibility of going flying or the ability of rather to go flying, there is a little hidden zipper pocket right here. So can I show it to you? Yeah, so right here, there's a little pull. And there's a little pocket. Oh, <gasps> there's a pocket. There's a pocket within the pocket. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get you even lower in here. Don't mind this mess down here that's happening. Okay, we got a deal. Don't mind it. But <laughs> so there's this zipper pocket right here. So hold on. Let me just start from scratch. Right? You have you have your pocket, okay? You unzip. You have a second pocket. You look into your unzipped pocket. Bitch, there's a third pocket. <laughs> like, look at that little tiny one. What's that even for? Like a quarter? I don't even know. Or like a single key, perhaps? Maybe you could put in there. But like, what? It's just so crazy. Pockets on pockets on pockets. And so then you zip up your zipper pocket. And then if you put like some cash in there and then a key in that other pocket, it's totally secure, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I just, I love it. They did have these pants um, in other colors, not in store, but online. They have these in other colors. So I think I might order these in like, um, that a really nice chocolate brown color that I was liking. So I might order these in the chocolate brown as well. But uh, but yeah, I just, I just really dig these. I think they are so comfortable. I was, I was honestly shocked at just how comfortable these are. Like, I feel like I'm wearing pajama pants. All right, you guys, I think that was everything. That was everything that I got on my belated shopping birthday trip, my belated birthday shopping trip. There we go. Um, I did order a couple things online and I think actually two of the things should be here today. Hopefully I ordered some leggings and some shorts from Elf Elite, but um, I've been watching, like I said, Catherine Mueller's, um, I think that's how you say her last name, but I've been watching a lot of her videos reviewing um, the Elf Elite stuff and they just look really, really nice. So I did go ahead and order a pair of leggings and a pair of shorts. So if you wanna see that, let me know. I'll probably show you anyway, just because I'm really excited to see how they fit on my personal body because Catherine Mueller's body is like, absolutely perfect. It's what I dream for mine to be one day with a lot of hard work, but it would just be, I don't know. I just think it's cool to see clothes on different bodies with different skin things. You know what I mean? I've got a little bit of tummy. I've got some stretch marks. I have some larger arms. I have some bigger calves and I just think it's nice to see how things fit. I didn't even mention my calves. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. You guys, you might not be able to tell right now, but your girl has some big calves and these joggers are so comfy. I will say they are like, they are touching my, um, don't, don't worry about all this clothing mess over here, but they are like skimming my calves like pretty much everywhere, but there is still so much stretch right here that like I said, there's no end to the stretch and it just feels comfy. And every once in a while, I feel like they're the, um, the little cuffs right up ever so slightly, but you just give them a little toot toot and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it, like way more fun than I thought I was going to, honestly. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the clothes that I got, of the fit and everything like that. Don't be too mean. I mean, I know it's the internet, but like, <laughs> I was scared to do this, so please don't be mean. But um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the clothes that I got. Do you like them for yourself? Would you buy this kind of stuff? Do you think I should look for other colors? And most importantly, do you wanna see these kinds of videos more often? Because I honestly, like I said, I had so much fun filming it. Obviously the shopping part is pretty fun too. But um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I would love to do some more like clothing reviews and stuff like that. Um, just to kind of help you guys out as much as possible with your buying options and knowing like what you're getting yourself into and like, is it worth spending your hard earned money on? I'll definitely let you know. I'm gonna be honest for how beautiful this is, this may not be worth your money. So, but this one, maybe. The material is a little bit different, so maybe this one will be a little bit more pill resistant. I think my battery might be dying here, or it might just be dead. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.